as artists what we wanted with the video um, in our lives more than anything in that moment was just to, to feel a connection with each other, with our fans, with humans. I'm such a huge fan of Evanescence and like chatting with you right now is kind of surreal for me. And it's also so crazy to realize you guys are coming back after nine years without music. How does it feel? It feels great. Um, you know, we've been playing music and we put out songs, but to be doing, you know, a full original album, that's the best. I mean, it's, it's a shit ton of work, but it's just, you never feel more alive. It's wonderful. It feels good to finally be at the point where um, something has come out. I, and speaking of what's come out, tell me about Wasted on You, a music video filmed entirely in quarantine. It was really, really fun to do. Um, this, this year has been really hard for everybody. The one thing about it is that it's an equalizer. It brings us, us all to the same level. Like we're all together doing the same thing and feeling a lot of the same feelings. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are in the world. And I think as artists, what we wanted with the video um, in our lives more than anything in that moment was just to, to feel a connection with each other, with our fans, with humans. The album, The Bitter Truth, I, I can't imagine a better time for a new Evanescence album to come out because when I think about your music, it's so cathartic for so many people. And that's what people need now. You know, we were just talking about how art can heal. Tell me a little bit about the genesis of the album. It's a little bit of everything, um, but at least for this first phase, uh, we have kind of focused on the more rock side, um, just because we've been missing that and playing live feels like that. And we wanna, we wanna show how, how this band sounds in, in 2020 something for me about this process and this album, something that we wanted before um, being in this situation that we're all in, uh, was to live in the moment uh, with our fans and sort of still be writing when we started releasing music and um, still be feeling the feelings that you're hearing in the song when you hear them. There was this one night in particular <laughs> where we got it and we were so happy. And the text stream was just so funny because it was all like little gifts of like cartoons dancing and basketball player dunks and stuff but it, we were together in a moment like all like i'm listening to the song for the 15th time like me too like <laughs> so um i don't know just feeling that that connection has just been really cool when you say we got it like we we got it we knew this is going to be the version of the song that's going out like what does that mean for anyone who might not understand it's kind of like um painting or drawing or anything you start with a blob and then start decorating it and shaving away the bad parts like i love it but there's this one part where it, just doesn't, it doesn't feel great like we got to change that thing and that starts with the um you know the chord choices and the, the lyric choices and the melody choices and all those things that make the song and the arrangement um but then it keeps going it keeps going into mixing and mastering you need to be able to hear everything without it being overwhelming. And then finally, everybody pleased, everybody loving it, just listening and not thinking about anything being missing or anything being too loud or anything feeling overall too bassy or whatever. Like, it sounds good in my car, it sounds good in my headphones, and it sounds good on my computer speakers. We're done. And what's the, the fan response been like? It's been great. It's been really good. Um, it's felt really good, uh, just, just, to interact with them more and all about something new. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And when I think about a lot of your catalog of music, I, I think that it's been such a source of comfort for so many people who battle mental health issues. These times are so tricky right now. What's your advice for people? Man, I struggle with my own issues too. It's hard, it's hard to always give an advice because I think I know the right answers, but I don't necessarily always do. Anxiety is a tough one right now uh, because we never know what's gonna happen next, really, but we kind of do. And um, right now, we really don't. It's it's hard to know day to day what you're. What are we gonna be doing later this year? I'm not really totally sure. Do something that makes you feel good because you did something that's outside of yourself. That's what made me start the band. Um, is making music because making something, whether it's baking a pie or um, making a song 
at the end of it, you feel really good because something exists that didn't exist before you were there. So um, I think that creation in general is really healing, painting, baking, 